In the first video part, I talked to you about how to create a mobile-friendly navigation menu for WordPress business users. The second part, I show you a mobile sticky bottom navigation bar as the users close down with the Cadence Team Pro tools. So, if you're ready, let's go! Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Natalie. I make videos to help you master your WordPress skills and to make more money online. Make sure you have already installed and activated your Cadence Team Pro license. Go to WordPress Cadence dashboard and ensure to have enabled the hooked elements, the header add-ons and the ultimate menu features. Under the menu tabs, we select from the this list the menu to customize. I've already decided that for mobiles, I'm gonna display this one, which I've named as Key Quick Links. It consists of four product categories from my WooCommerce shop. At the bottom, you select where you would like your menus to be displayed. So I assign my Quick Links menu to be displayed on mobile devices and footer by checking the correspondent box and save it. At the moment, here's my drop down navigation menu on mobile devices, only these four menu links. I want to make life easier for people visiting my business site on a mobile device. The first thing I want to add is an icon inside my drop-down list to help my users get what they need to without any effort. So navigate to appearance, menu and menu items. It's pretty easy with the Cadence Team Pro appearance and click on a menu item settings. Open up the menu link. Inside there, click on the menu item settings button. On the menu item icon, select the icon you want to use, as well as the icon side, left or right, and the icon color and size. For me, I go with dark color to match my store, left side and 100% icon size. Most apps use icons. It's a design pattern which is familiar for the users. Use icons that are easy to recognize when users scan the web pages. Close the panel by clicking on the close button at the top. Now open up the following menu item by clicking on the down arrow. Then on the menu item settings button, click on it. Add your icon. I repeat the procedure. I fast forward the video so you don't wait any unnecessary minutes. Don't forget to save the work twice as you leave this. We are going to make the design layout inside the customizer. Head over to customize header and click on the control mobiles at the bottom. To determine the screen size to switch the mobile header, we go to the customize header. I put 370 pixels. Now what I want to do is to add the mobile header card to the middle left hand side. Then I click the card a gear icon to configure the design layout. Under the general tab, I activate the show item to indicator. And in the design, I put the icon size to 1.22 amps. The card color, I go with dark blue, total in, and the padding is zero. I click on the blue off canvas. To define the header of Canvas behavior, how do you want to present this as a side panel or as a full width layout? In the design, let's adjust the, back, the background color to this light color and you can also add a gradient or an image. Let me demonstrate. I click on the image select. I selected this picture to show to the, my users. And then I just need to adjust the background image settings, auto cover or content. I don't want, I don't want to use it. So I click on the, the remove button. Below, we have the close icon size. I prefer to put to 30 pixels. Now I add the social element to the off canvas. I click on the plus icon. There you have it. I click, I had it the YouTube. I want the outline. 
publish. Oh, I've noticed I want to, be to, to put my text label. So I go to the mobile trigger or shift click on top of it, add a menu, a text label, my hamburger. There you go. Looking good. Love it. Now for the video second part, I want to show you how to create a mobile sticky footer bar as the user scrolls down the page. How do I do this? It's simple and a straightforward process. We use the cadence hook elements to achieve this. So navigate over to WordPress dashboard, cadence and elements. Create a new one, a fixed type. I give it a name. I call it mobile nav. I begin with the hook element settings. So click on this little pencil icon at the top to configure. Under the placement, I go with fix bottom after scroll. It means when from top we are determining the distance value till the hook element appears on the user screen. The width I go with 100%, meaning it takes 100% of the available space. The display I want to show on entire site. Under the device settings, I want Oh, I just want to show this on mobiles, so I, I specify mobiles, and that's it. Now click on the gear icon to start creating the design layout by using the cadence theme blocks. I added the two equal columns row block. Now click on this on the mobile icon on the right hand side. I want this design layout. The collapse order is right to left. I enable set custom background for mobiles and I choose my color, this light blue. Under the structure settings, set the container HTML tag to footer. Minimum high, I want a 60 pixels and I enable the inner column high to 100%. Visibility settings I hide it on desktop and tablet. I like to use the WordPress list view to select my elements. So press on the three lines at the top to activate it. I had the two icons. The first one is the home icon for the left section. Text alignment center. The icon size is 40 pixels with a line height of 2 pixels. The icon color I go with blue and the link I put my home page. I had a new heading block for the menu text label. You want to have a good user experience level right for your users. I go with the HTML H6. For the right column, I added an envelope icon with the same settings as the left one. So 40 pixel size, icon size with a line width to 2 pixels. And I also added a heading block for the menu text label, a H6 heading tag. saying sign up and update. Let's check out the final result inside the inspect tool. Scrolling down in mobile view. There you go. Good. Excellent. I love it. All right. If you found this video useful, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. It's free. It means a lot to me and it takes only one second. And don't forget to smash the bell icon so you get notified when I release new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.